Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about the formulas of differentiation. These are the basic formulas of differentiation. To make it simple, we categorize these formulas into four different types where type 1 is again categorized as constant function, algebraic function, exponential function and logarithmic function. Now we shall see what is the differentiation of a constant. So constant we can take it as k, c, anything. So now here we are considering the constant k. The differentiation of a constant is always 0. So if y is equal to a constant k and if we have the constant simple that is without any function along with it or any variable then when we differentiate that constant then dy by dx will be 0 always. The next is the algebraic function. Here it is x power n. So when we differentiate this algebraic function x power n, we get it as n x power n minus 1. And then we have the exponential function. The differentiation of the exponential function e power x is the same e power x and then we have the logarithmic function which is log x the differentiation of log x is 1 by x so to remember we can categorize into four types where the first type is constant k when differentiated gives us 0 the algebraic function x power n when differentiated it gives n x power n minus 1 the exponential function e power x when differentiated we get the same e power x and log x when we differentiate we get 1 by x. I hope the formulas of type 1 are very clear to you. Now let, next we shall move on to type 2 which are trigonometric functions. So we shall learn how to what are the differentiation formulas of trigonometric functions. So these are the trigonometric functions that we have. Now the differentiation of sin x is always cos x and the differentiation of cos x is sin x with a negative sign. So it will be minus sin x and next we shall now learn the differentiation of tan x, cot x, secant x and cosecant x. To make it simple and to handle it with some tricks, we can have it as first we shall see the differentiation of tan x. So for that what we have to do is we can just write aside secant x. So just remember to do this secant x tan x. And then also write cosecant x minus cosecant x cortex. So just write aside these terms. That is in the first row you should write secant x, secant x, tan x. And then you have to write cosecant x minus cosecant x cortex. Now using this we shall find the differentiation of these four trigonometric functions. For tan x, we have tan x here. So leaving the tan x in that row, what are the other two trigonometric functions? Secant x and secant x. So what we have to do is, we have to multiply these two and that will be the differentiation of tan x. So leaving that term, the remaining terms in that row, we have to multiply. So the differentiation of tan x will be, so leaving this tan x, what are the other two left out? Secant x, secant x. So when we multiply these two, we get secant squared x. And so the differentiation of tan x is secant squared x. Now let us see the differentiation of cortex. Now where we have cortex here. So leaving cortex, what are the other two left out? Cosecant x and minus cosecant x. So multiply these two. So we get minus cosecant squared x. So the differentiation of cortex will be negative cosecant 
squared x. Okay. And so now next, the differentiation of secant x. Now, where do we have secant x here? So, just leave this and multiply the other two terms of that row. So, the differentiation of secant x will be secant x tan x. So, that is what we have here. So, it will be secant x tan x. Okay. And then we have the differentiation of cosecant x. So, where do we have cosecant x here? So, leaving this, multiply these two. So, we get minus cosecant x cot x. Hope you have understood the differentiation of trigonometric functions. So, the differentiation of sin x is cos x. The differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. And then for differentiation of tan x is secant squared x. For cortex, it is minus cosecant squared x. For secant x, it is secant x tan x. And for cosecant x, it is minus cosecant x and cortex. And now next we have the third type, which is inverse trigonometric functions. So now we are going to differentiate the inverse trigonometric functions. The first one is sine inverse of x. So, the differentiation of sine inverse of x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. And for cos inverse of x, it will be the same as sine inverse of x with a negative sign. So, cos inverse of x is negative 1 by square root of 1 minus x squared. So, it is very simple to remember. And then we have tan inverse of x. The differentiation of which is 1 by 1 plus x squared. And the differentiation of cot inverse of x is simply the negative of the differentiation of tan inverse of x. Which is negative 1 by 1 plus x squared. And now next we have secant inverse of x. The differentiation of which is 1 by x square root of x squared minus 1. So, remember very clearly it is x squared minus 1. So, 1 by x square root of x squared minus 1 is the differentiation of secant inverse of x. So, what will be cosecant inverse of x then? Very simply the negative of the differentiation of this. So, which is negative 1 by x square root of x squared minus 1. So, therefore the differentiation of sine inverse of x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x squared and for cos inverse of x minus 1 by square root of 1 minus x squared. Similarly for tan inverse of x it is 1 by 1 plus x squared and for cot inverse of x the negative of this which is 1 minus 1 by 1 plus x squared and the differentiation of secant inverse of x is 1 by x square root of x squared minus 1 and Differentiation of cosecant inverse of x is negative of the differentiation of this. That is negative 1 by x square root of x squared minus 1. Hope you have understood the third type also. Now next we shall move on to the last type which is type 4 which is the operations on functions. So now how we are going to use differentiation when there are two functions into operations. So, let us learn that now. Now, suppose here these are the functions of y given by y. Then if we differentiate it with respect to x, how do we write it? dy by dx. So, when we are going to differentiate it with respect to x, let's see how the operations works. Now, if u is a function and if it is multiplied by any constant, then when differentiated, the constant remains the same. So, remember when the constant is alone and when we differentiate it, it becomes 0. Whereas here the constant is not alone. It is along with the function u. So, when it is differentiated with, uh, with respect to x, then what we have to do, the constant remains the same. And we have to differentiate only the function u, which will be du by dx. Next, we have the addition or subtraction of two functions. So, u plus v or u minus v. So, how is it going to work? So, when you differentiate it, 
it can be because it is a linear it can be differentiated separately so u will be first the first differentiated so du by dx plus or minus so if the sign is plus you will have a plus here or if it is a negative sign minus then you have a minus so du by dx plus or minus dv by dx so we can differentiate each term separately when we have addition or subtraction in between those two functions now when the two functions are in multiplication so u multiplied with v now we have to differentiate both the functions with respect to x so what we have to do is first we should have u as such and we have to differentiate the second variable so that is dv by dx we are differentiating with respect to x plus then next you have this function as such so we have v as it is and differentiate u with respect to x so du by dx or you can use do it vice versa because anyway the operation is plus in between here so first have it have u as such differentiate v plus having v as such differentiating u this is what we have now next finally we have the division operation that is u divided by v the formula for this is so remember like this so first we will write the denominator what is the denominator here it is v so here the denominator will be v squared okay and now next you have v as such first you should always differentiate u so du by dx then minus having u as it is you have to differentiate v with respect to x so dv by dx hope you have understood all the four types so quickly i will just give a revision on all the four so the first type that we saw was this which is constant algebraic exponential and logarithmic so these are the four formulas and then we saw the second type which is trigonometric function where we used some trick to get the last four trigonometric differentiation formulas by using the row tricks and then we learnt about the inverse trigonometric function and these are the formulas where we saw that cos was the negative of sin inverse and then cot inverse was negative of tan inverse and cosecant inverse was negative of the secant inverse and then finally we saw some operations on functions so hope you have understood all the four type of differentiation formulas in our next videos let us proceed with differentiation problems so basic problems on differentiation thank you